Hello, my name is Rodik Mujib. I am a student at um, the T-level Digital Production Design and Development course, and I am currently studying at the Nichols campus from the Manchester College. So the first thing that I think about when I think of a course was computing. So I was always first looking at A-levels, maybe B-tech. But then after that, I saw the T-levels thing, the T-levels in the website, and I was thinking, wow, they got the bursary and stuff was a good addition, but the the practical course combined with academics, meaning we got the benefit of academics from A-levels, so we're fine with going to university. But we, the practical sense, meaning that we're also fine if you want to go just straight for a job. The one thing that I really enjoyed about this course is the amount of practical with it. I think, um, and also how realistic it is to real life, especially the, the core project. The coding part is like any, all the courses, whether A-level, B-Tech, RQF, all of them does. But T-levels, we do project management, we do planning, we make sure to think about risk, we make sure to think about what, what, what the customer would like to see. Our tutor, Andrew, would just set us tasks like programming tasks like add how do you use, use if statements in this project, use while loops in this, use for loops in this. So those were pretty much the practical back then and at this moment in the future. Our practical will mostly be uh, related to our employers. So whatever they give us, we're just going to have to do and that will definitely like boost our um, experience when it comes to working in this industry. First thing first, college, being on time, <laughs> with the right uniform, <laughs> that's one. Um, as I, um, I think, uh, sitting down on the computer for a long period of hours, gonna have to do that anyways. And, but the tech real technical skills is obviously things like um, solving problems, making sure you know how to do them, um, asking someone for help, whether it's from the internet or from a colleague. And, and then obviously, obviously the programming skills, learning how to do Python and um, management, project management is the one that I think will be very important because if you want to be a project manager, that's obviously something you have to learn. I do like the fact that I have the full view of a program and then maybe in the I can have two tabs, say one is Google Chrome with like something from Stack Overflow with all the with the code that I need, and the other on the other one is like the pro the program environment where I write the code. So all I do, I think the the thing that we've been given for this course is I think we've got given like quite a lot. Oh, I think it's important because that means that we got like some insight into what they do, especially like for a silver, like an example, when the silver chip guys came in, which is our sponsors, they, they, they show us about what it's like to actually be in a software development, how you, as long as you've got the skills, you don't really necessarily need a degree. I think that's what really like makes us like, oh, that, that's good because we don't have to go to university and spend like all that money and whatnot. And then obviously they also told us about the other skills that we need. So things like, programming languages, how they should tackle problems, how they do meetings, whether they, how often they do them and things like that. Oh, um, uh, when it comes to Andrew and Andy, the one who does paper one, paper two, they, um, they have quite a good knowledge and a broad knowledge on like the things that they teach. So things like data security, they know all about, all about them. Obviously some of them like, like Andy, he knows more about C Sharp than Python, but so he only, so he taught most of the uh, paper two, which all of them is like, uh, what's it called? All of them is just theory. So obviously um, he's, and, he, and because he, he's very good at explaining things and like he knows uh, um, we, can, we can write a lot of notes from about it, and and then Andrew, um, he he knows a bit more about the Python stuff, so obvious, so he teaches more about that stuff and his explanations and the way he lays up, especially his class notebook, his layout is like the dream that I wanted when I when I was in high school as well. So I so, so we got like checklists, we got the objectives, we got the resources. So that's one of the things. And Becky, she was I think a project manager for 
I don't know, Blackberry company or something like that. And obviously her knowledge from them is going to be really useful because she knows that when we do a mistake, it's like we put the wrong order for something like, nope, that is wrong. You should not put that there. And I think, yeah, so that was one of the things. And obviously all of them are very strict when it comes to marking, which is, I think is very helpful because that means that if you say we got high mark on, on the thing, we might get higher or at least the same when we do the actual exam rather than if they were to be too lax, we might get lower and we don't want that. So yeah, I think that's fine. We mostly, it was mostly like a lot of, uh, the first part was us like seeing like how like computer, like just getting to know each other. So we do like a lot of group tasks, like things like how to make an app, escape, like online escape rooms, a bit of programming here and there, and obviously not getting to know the college. If, hopefully, I either will go straight to work and if I do choose that route, I want to just go to a software development company, like software engineer or software developer, just as a general, because they do like a range of stuff. So from games, apps, websites, um, cloud computing and whatnot. So that, that, that will at least get me a taste of all of them and then hopefully go into a specific one. So say I like app design, I go to an app and that's how I think my, I would like my career to go out. And if I do choose a university option, I would go to university and probably to do the same with just that university first and then the same work thing and that's it. Make sure that you really want this course because because if you don't want it, you're going to be learning a lot and then all that knowledge will be like wasted and I don't think that's very good. And also make sure that you're, you're ready to keep, like, keep studying, keep learning because there's a lot of after studies because you, know, you might not complete because of the large workload, you might not complete in class. So be ready to be able to do it like in the weekends or after college because I have a weekend part time. So I have to make sure that I have to complete everything before the weekend so that so that you know, I, I can actually submit it and whatnot. So that's one of the things. Just be prepared for the workload. That's the main part.